So hi, here we are again in yet another video. Remember the video where we learned about the integration of WhatsApp Business Cloud API with Communicate's AI chatbot platform? Don't worry even if not. The link to that integration video is provided here in the description. You can always check that out. In that integration video, we tested the sending and receiving part of the messages on the Communicate dashboard where an agent can see the conversations and can chat with the end users for solving their queries. I mentioned the permanent access token there, didn't I? Today we will learn about that. There, we used a temporary token while setting up the entire thing on a sandbox environment which is otherwise a testing environment. So now let's see how we can shift from the temporary access token to a permanent access token for the account which we have created on the WhatsApp business. For that, go to the My Apps page where you can see both apps and them being connected to the test business account. Click on this test business account. This will open up the settings page for the business account. As you can see here, the users are listed. We need to create a system user for this business account. If you don't have a system user created already, no worries, you can hit the add button here to create one. Give the name of your system user. Select the admin in the system user role and go ahead to click on the create system user button. Here we already have a system user created with admin access. Now, let's create an asset for this account by clicking on the Add Assets button. For this, go to the apps here and click on the respective app. In this case, it's a testing app account. Now, let's give it full access by toggling this Manage App button. Save these changes and here you can see that the app is added to the person. After this, click on this Generate New Token button and choose the app for which you need to generate the token. Here you need to grant certain permissions for your app so that it can generate the business tokens. Check on these two important permissions which are WhatsApp Business Messaging and WhatsApp Business Management. Now hit the Generate Token button. This is the permanent token that we need to have for setting up a live environment in Communicate. So just copy this part and we will go to Communicate the Go Live environment. Let's go to the Integrations page and open the WhatsApp Cloud API setting and then go to the Go Live environment and paste the permanent token in this corresponding field. Fill in the remaining information like phone number, phone number ID, version, and account just the same way we did in the integration video given in the description. So we go here and click on the testing app account where we can get the information exactly in the same way how we did it for our sandbox environment. So let me just revise that part for you. This is the phone number ID, this is the business account ID, and this is the token that we have already processed. So just populate all the details here along with the version ID of the app and hit the integrate button to finish the integration of the live environment. Right after integrating the live environment, your dashboard will start to show the messages as it was showing in the sandbox environment. That part will not change in Communicate. You can see all the conversations from your end users listed right here which any agent can pick up and start the conversation. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for integrating your WhatsApp business account with Communicate AI chatbot platform. If you found this video interesting, please do like it. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel, and don't miss out on our upcoming videos.